Hey everyone, I'm Prez and welcome to Cabrillo, the brand new series here on my channel. So this city is going to be set in Northern California and it's going to be a pretty substantial city. And not only that, it's going to be a synthesis of many different cities. So as you can note, this map is pretty unique. It, it doesn't really fit any specific um, location in the United States. So we're going to start off this video kind of explaining where, the, you know, where, where this is inspired by uh, with a new segment on the channel called Inspiration Station, where we go over the inspiration for every episode before we get started. Starting off here, we have Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, which is a beautiful, beautiful city with some really interesting geography. It's set at the convergence of, of two different rivers. Um, and keeping that in mind, I want to build a West Coast city with this kind of geography. Um, and it's mostly going to be based on Portland, Oregon, at least the downtown area. Portland is one of my favorite cities in the United States. I've never actually been there. I very badly want to go. Uh, but Portland has a beautiful, beautiful backdrop, tons of amazing uh, bridges and some awesome urban planning I want to show you. The city is going to be set in Northern California, though, so I'm going to be taking a lot of inspiration from Berkeley and the East Bay, where I live, east of San Francisco, and also uh, north of San Francisco, Marin County, which is just a beautiful place. Uh, I'm mostly going to be looking at the headlands here, the Marin headlands, and uh, I'm going to be looking at the cliffs um, around them as well, which are beautiful to ride a bike on or drive by um, when I'm making the map. I also want to look at um, these kind of rivers uh, in Northern California and Oregon. This is in Humboldt County you're looking at, these beautiful river valleys as well. So lots of different geographical features. I also want to have a big towering mountain like Mount Diablo, which is a mountain I've actually ridden my bike up uh, kind of east of me. That's where it is in relation to San Francisco. Uh, and then the, the, the city itself is going to be set north of San Francisco in Mendocino County, uh, just kind of in between San Francisco and Humboldt. As you can tell, though, we're taking uh, pointers from a lot of different places. I, I really want this to be a city um, that you know stands by itself, that you know can be recognized as Cabrillo, not as you know San Francisco and city skylines or Portland and city skylines or anything like that. We are definitely going to be taking a lot of pointers from Portland for for sure, um, and from the East Bay, but. You know, I really do want it to be unique, uh, truly unique. I don't know of any other city like this in the United States. So we're here in Photoshop. Believe it or not, we're working on the map right now. Like I know we're not in the map editor, but this is this is work on the map. Um, I've downloaded a height map from terrain.party, which I'll link in the description. It's a website where you can basically turn any location into a city skylines height map and import it in the map edit editor. But I also like to edit it in Photoshop first. Um, because it allows you to do a lot of work at once very precisely like making rivers like this is just really annoying to do in game but i'm using the brush tool and it was good even with my mouse um i could have brought it over my tablet and made it even easier but couldn't really be bothered um but yeah you can kind of see i'm flattening out this area which is going to be the main area for the, the city suburbs uh, along the river here um and just trying to do a lot of the work before I even get in game because it makes it so much easier where in game the work becomes um, you know, precision work like trying to make sure the the cliffs are, are smooth and you know stuff like that um, and now I'm th this area right here you can see is kind of near downtown uh, the downtown's gonna be on that peninsula that like triangular looking peninsula at uh, the convergence of, of those rivers um, now I'm actually working on the coastline um, and then I'm finishing off by uh, increasing the contrast of the, the height map so that the cliffs are a little taller. Um, and then here I am in game, I've, I've imported the height map and now I'm experimenting by um, just kind of flattening out these, these hills, which when I imported them were just too tall. But the, the main thing I learned from um, making this map is that you want to import your cliffs um, you know, very, very tall. Uh, and make them make them steep, N not excessively, because then when you lower them down, it won't look too good. Uh, but then you know, flatten them out so that uh, you use you know a brush with a very low intensity, but flatten them out to what you want the ground level to be, kind of gradually, or at least have them move towards that. And then you get these very detailed cliffs that are still um, not excessively tall. Um, it really worked for me. You'll only see snippets. Like I've been working on this map for weeks now. Um, but I, I wanted to make it one video because I, I wanted to make sure that we could just get right into the city, you know, building the city in the next episode and you don't have to wait too long. So, so now we're going to start working on the mountain. Um, this mountain is one of my favorite features of the map. Um, once again, it's kind of based on Mount Diablo and my experience with Mount Diablo. It sort of gradually rises up here. Um, it, it, it's beautiful. It goes to the, the highest point of the map. 
Uh, I do need a name for it though. So let me know in the comments if you've got a good name suggestion, uh, kind of based on any location that I've mentioned as um, inspiration here, because I do need a name for the mountain. I named the city myself here, but uh, the, the mountain is definitely gonna need a name. So it'd be great if you could uh, suggest one in the comments below and uh, maybe you can get a couple and then have a poll um, in a future video on what the, the final name should be. Because I do want to use the uh, community tab of polls feature um, in this series, kind of like uh, Infrastructurist used to. I think a lot of us miss Infrastructurist videos. Um, but, you know, I want to take some of the, um, you know, the really awesome participatory features of their videos and um, kind of add them here in, in this series. Because uh, one important thing that I want to kind of communicate is you know, urban planning is a participatory process. Um, it's not like this top down, um, you know, the thing that you kind of envision from playing city skylines. It's, you know, I might be planning the city here, building it, but um, all of you are, I mean, the viewers are maybe in the, you know, the participatory sense, like the residents, um, not like you live here, but um, yeah, I just want to make sure that it, you're realizing that you're participating and residents have to participate in the planning process. Otherwise, it's not. Oh, like what are you planning for um people live in a city um and i, I figure by adding polls um in each video or you know, every couple videos on, on different subjects um, i feel like that would be a, a great way to um have interaction especially for those people who don't really like to comment on every video um and maybe we could even have polls if people want uh, a certain thing built in a certain area or want it removed from a certain area that kind of thing might um might be um, you know, might get its own poll. So just let me know if you have any suggestions for how I should you know, do that um, in, in the comments below. But anyway, we're starting to place trees here. Uh, the, the trees we're going to be using are Mr. Mason's Coast Redwoods, uh, Gray Flames, Filler Pines, and Padelmo's Bushes and like ultra low poly um, trees. So Mostly, though, the, the, the staple trees here are the Coast Redwoods and uh, Gray Flames Filler Pines, which are perfect because the colors really match each other, but I didn't want to just place Redwoods everywhere because, one, it's not realistic, and two, it would completely tank my frame rate. Um, the Filler Pines are awesome, though, because they don't really add too much, like, triangle-wise um, to the map. Uh, and we're barely actually, at the end, we'll barely be over the tree limit, so you will need unlimited trees if you want to download the, the map. Um, the map, by the way, is going to be linked in the description, the workshop link to it. You can play on this map, send me screenshots from this map, all sorts of things. Um, it will be linked in the description. I'd love to see what you build here because uh, it, maybe it's different from what I end up building. Um, but yeah, you can download the map. Um, there's also a theme mix. The theme that you're seeing right now isn't really final. Um, it's mostly Springwood, but I end up um, changing it so that there are a couple of different um, themes as well. I forget the other themes that I ended up using, but um, they'll be linked. Uh, well, there's gonna be a theme mix you can download along with the required themes in the description down below. Um, and that'll be probably linked in every video, so you'll be able to, you know, check that out. Another thing I wanted to mention here is that the collections for the series are gonna be a lot smaller. Um, first of all, the, the workshop asset count is gonna be a lot smaller, and the assets I've chosen a lot of them, you know, where I'll have tons of different condos downloaded or tons of different, you know, um, trees, they'll be loading screen mod compatible. So any large file size items will actually be a lot smaller in file size than they in initially look like. Um, but all the collections for the series are going to be kind of sorted out by type. So there's going to be buildings, props, etc. You can view those in the description. It should be a lot easier to navigate than usual. Another thing to note, uh, the, the music for the series is all going to be by uh, Sarah the Instrumentalist. Her Spotify will be linked in the description. Um, I've used her music in the past. It's excellent. And it'll be a lot calmer than the music in Columbia City. So uh, hopefully you like that. Um, but yeah, right now we're working on some mud flats and also the riverbanks. None of them are perfect though. Uh, just let that be because it's really hard to make these perfect in a map that um, is supposed to be like kind of accessible. Like I want normal players to be able to download this map pretty accessibly and only download like 10 mods and assets, uh, which I'm pretty sure I kept to or something close to that. It's a really accessible map, but it's also pretty detailed uh, at the same time. Maybe the least detailed place is that, you know, this uh, area is going to be covered in dunes um, and some, like, low trees. Just ignore that for now. We're going to work on that um, a little bit more uh, once we're actually in-game building in that area, because I wasn't exactly, exactly sure how to make accurate dunes here. 
Um, so a lot of this cut out, but this is uh, where we're working on the coastline. Uh, it's going to be based on Marin and Big Sur, basically. It's just a beautiful area. Um, I'd love to ride my bike here. And uh, we're going to definitely be banning um, truck traffic on here because it wouldn't make sense for semis to be um, driving down here, but they will initially because it's an outside connection. But you, know, you, you can also do that in your own time if you download the map, just to you know, ban truck connections there, because it's probably a little unrealistic. But truck connections will make sense uh, on this highway, which is going to be going alongside the river um, with a rail line, as you can see. This is, this is going to cross the map. Uh, I'm going to edit this in the future for sure. But I mean, the point is, um, definitely consider all of this infrastructure pre preliminary. Um, I'll probably edit it a lot in the future. It's not perfectly realistic for a rail line to you know, go parallel to a highway, like completely accurately for five miles. So we'll work on that more in the future. And this interchange I'm building is definitely not final. I'm going to be deleting it the second I open the map for the first time. It's just here for anybody who downloads the, the saves so that they're actually able to start a city. One final feature we're going to add to the map here before we close off is... Uh, a set of islands because I just flew over Catalina Islands on the way to Orange County uh, for spring break. So um, I'm, you know, I, I really wanted to add some sort of chain of islands off of the coast here, just like there is in LA, because there isn't really anything like that in Northern California. Um, so I thought that'd be a really interesting feature. Have a ferry line out here. We'll do that all in the future. Um, it's just to make sure it's on the map for us. Um, but yeah, I think it's about time to close out the video. Hopefully you all enjoyed. Let me know what you think of the new series. If you're excited, um, leave a like if you uh, if you are pumped for what is to come. I am so excited. I'm going to try to build this city faster than I uh, have built Columbia City so we actually get progress in and you know, you're actually able to see the city change pretty quickly. Um, and at the same time, kind of explain the thought process behind everything. Quick shout out to some patrons before we go. Uh, Logan DeHoyos, Matthew Zaime, Abdul Gordo, Forrest Corbett, Marcus Oler, and Travis Sawyer. Thank you all so much for supporting the channel. If you want to support the channel, you can uh, head over to my Patreon or you can join as a YouTube member down below. Anyway, that's about it. Hopefully you enjoyed and I will see you in the next episode of Cabrillo where we start building the downtown.